Welcome guys! Today I'm going to talk about a highly effective method to luring out your enemies for easy kills. To help me demonstrate this I'll be using the Toby Eye Tracker 4C and the bubble on the screen is where I'm looking when I'm playing. How many times have you not been attacked by a random enemy after you just killed someone else? Your enemy got attracted by the noise, which is completely normal as you would theoretically be an easy target. But what if it all was just an illusion? What I'm talking about is the art of baiting people to peek or push you while you remain in full control of the situation. This is an extremely powerful way to get easy kills, as enemies will think you're fighting someone else, causing them to lower their guards and stick their heads out there. A technique that is especially good early game, but certainly also viable later in the game. There are two types of baiting, the peak bait and the push bait. The peak bait is all about getting your enemies to peek at a specific angle or window by randomly shooting in the air and then take them down when they can't hold their curiosity back anymore. You can use this method when you just heard a footstep inside a building or briefly saw your enemy through the windows. Firing multiple different weapons will make the bait more effective as the victim will be convinced that two players are fighting when in fact he's the one that is about to get owned. If you have a bolt action sniper such as the Kar 98, the peak bait can be stupidly effective. Of course some players will be scared by the gunshots. Some players will try to wait it out and skip the otherwise excellent opportunity for an easy kill. With this type of enemy, baiting will put you at a greater risk because after all you're the one making all the noise and other enemies might get attracted to this and come to kill you. So in cases like this, you should either abort and leave, or just rush the poor guy with a vector. And speaking about rushing, this leads us to the second type of bait, the push bait. The point of this type of bait is to get your enemy to rush or push you while you are perfectly ready to kill him once he shows himself. You can use this when you hear enemy footsteps close by and you're certain that he also heard you. Instead of getting into a long waiting and listing game, just bait him and kill him. Naturally this is much riskier, but the whole point is that your enemy will be so busy rushing in to kill the player who he just thought was already in combat, that means that he again will be much less ready to be engaged directly on. And this is the whole point, because how many times have you not killed players who were fighting someone else? It's easy, except when you get baited. Baiting like this is most effective near buildings when you have cover or if you're baiting your enemy out of cover, but it can certainly also be used outside. If you lost track of your enemy, baiting can be a great way to get your enemies to move and make footstep sounds which will tell you exactly where to aim your gun when he is pushing you full of hope and excitement. Or in a simple example like this, where the enemy that is right in front of you will be tricked into thinking that you're suddenly not focused on him after all again causing him to overcommit to an impossible situation with no cover just to die. So get in there and start baiting. It is hilarious when it works and you would be surprised as to how often it works exactly like you want it to. If you want to buy your own eye tracker, check the referral link in the description below. Now that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you liked it and also found it interesting to have the eye tracker shown as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future content. And I'll see you guys next time.